Hi, how are you there? I bet you you're good. It's uh, TKM here, and today we will be quickly looking at how to mask or extract the African sized chunk terrain for further analysis in you know, ArcGIS Pro. So, the first thing that we'll be doing is ensuring that we have all the data set that we need for the analysis and these simple exercise in ArcGIS Pro. So we'll go ahead and add the African continent data. Uh, in your case, you can use whichever continent or legion data set that you have to do these uh, analysis. The next thing that we will, after we've added the data set that we will be masking, so we will have the global data set and the other data set that we want to add from the living atlas is the terrain covering the whole group. So we will go to the living atlas, search for terrain data set, and here we've got it. And it's owned by ESRI. That means that the reset is authoritative and you can grab it and use it. So we've got the terrain covering the whole globe, but one thing that we want you to do is to mask or extract the terrain covering the African continent only. The first thing that we will be doing is uh, our intention here is to create a layer that covers the earth with Africa creeped out and that's the reason why we have this global rectangle and one thing that we want to do is to quickly check and check those uh, backgrounds so that we can see clearly what is going on here so we have these two data set the African continent with the small irons you can see them and then we have these a rectangle that is covering the whole group. The next thing that we want to do is to erase uh, the African shape from this uh, Raja extent covering the whole group. So what we will do is use the erase tool in ArcGIS toolbox. So we will search for erase tool. I usually, I usually find it easy when I just use the erase tool so that I can have a bounding rectangle that, you know, uh, that covers or uh, does the operation that I want. And this erase tool will erase African and have the African hole in our, in our output. So the input will be the global rectangle and then we will specify the African continent as the erase features. And then we want to save our output feature class in a local directory. So, and again, we should give it a more intuitive name here. So, in our case here, we will call it North African Continent. And then uh, the next thing is uh, specifying the XY tolerance. We don't have to you know get bothered by that it's an optional uh, input thing that we are not you know uh, concerned about we can leave uh, leave it at it is and the output here will have this whole group without uh, group rectangle without the african uh, continent in it and that's what we'll be use uh, using to mask our terrain data set so what this does right now here is that it gives us a, a rectangle that is missing Africa. One thing that we can do, it's, it, it's right, Africa inverted. You know, that's not the name, but it's an Africa inverted. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, use the simple visual mask uh, in ArcGIS Pro. It's not in the toolbox. And to get it, we must highlight the layer that we want to mask, we can check it back. And then once we do that in the appearance tab, here we go, we have the rendering group. And in the rendering group, we have this simple visual masking tool. And then we're gonna click at the drop down arrow and check the 
Af a North African continent. And once we do this, we're gonna click somewhere outside and then boom, some operation is going here. And then we have this uh, extraction of the uh, uh, African chunk, the terrain. So what we can do to see it properly is zoom into Rhea, and then we can uncheck that. And then here we have the African continent. And that's all that we had to do to kind of get the African shape of this chunk of terrain and then from here you can use uh, you know any other specific tools that you want to continue with uh, the further analysis you can you know search for, for statistics tools if you've got a special uh, analyst license then you can do any other operation you want or you can search for you know tools like uh, whatever hill shade any tool that you can use with your raster data set and you can do any further raster functions or analysis and guys i'm very happy for having me tonight that's all we had for today hope it was helpful for you thank you and see you next time